do subscribe our techno guru class channel and please don't forget to press that bell icon to receive further updates hello friends this is itesh welcome to our techno guru class and the python series for beginners um this tutorial will be about uh, string slicing okay i'll be telling you something about string how we can slice out some uh, part of string this is all things i'm going to cover over here okay so I'll just open one image I have created for you people over here. Uh, yeah, this one. So basically what I'm trying to do is, I'll just show you. This is my string. I'm, I'll just take one string. You know how to take string over here. So I'll just write um, str equals to, I'll just write here, take no guru. Okay. So this is that same string what I'm going to take here. Okay. If I just press enter. Ah, uh, some mistake is there. Mm. Give me a moment. Good. If I just press enter, if you try to display this STI, you'll get this techno guru one string. Okay. And I did the same I have taken over here. So, what, what I'm trying to explain over here is like uh, the initial index of my string is basically zero. Okay. And it's so on, like one, two, three. Even the space is going to have one index, okay, and that way 7, 8, 9, 10, okay. And one more thing I have represented down over here, you can see is the string can be represented in minus also if you want to take these things in reverse order. So you can just uh, specify over here minus 1, uh, 2, I mean minus 1, minus 2, and so on backward side. So it's that way. So I'll just show you some slicing over here. Okay, so I'll just say str, or if I write 2, colon, and if I write 5, so I'll just press enter and I'll show you what is happening over here is, you'll get chn, so 2 means what, it will basically start from the 2 index, and you have specified 5 over here, but you, you are at the end point, You'll not get till the end, you'll get one less than that, so it will be like two, three, and four. Okay, so it will not take that five index, so here it will take exactly, and here it will take one less than that. It's that way. Okay, um, I'll just show you one more example. What if I write uh, directly, I mean, colon, and if I write directly five, if I'm not writing two or something, and I press enter, you can see what is happening over here. It's by default starting from zero and it will take one less than this five, so it will be zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, so till four, four is in you can see till n only I got everything over here, so it's that way. Uh, some more thing I'll show you over here so str, and suppose if I write uh, something like um, uh, let's say two colon. I want till 8, okay. So 2 to 8 means it will take from 2 and it will end till 7, okay. So I'll just take one more over here, 9, okay. That means it will end till uh, 8, okay. I mean, till you. Uh, yeah, but I will just add one more thing. I'll just write colon and I'll just write, okay. I'll just write one first. I'll just show you what is happening over here. So if I write one, you can see um, it's by default the same. Okay, this one is basically the incrementing step that how much character you want to, uh, I mean, how much you want to skip. Okay, but here one means you are skipping nothing. Okay, it is incrementing by one. I'll just write str 2 colon 9 and to un make you understand, I'll just type 2. And if I press enter, you can see uh, 2 means it will start from C. I will take that C. Then it will skip by 2, that means 3 and 4. You will get 4 over here, okay? And then again 5 and it will take 6. And 6 is having space, that's the reason I'm taking space over here. Then again 1 and 2, that means I will get U. And uh, it is still 9, that's the reason it will aid it till finish. So that's the way that you are getting output. So 2 is something that how much I should increment. By default, it is incrementing by 1. So that very really concept is cool. Now I'll just write str. I'll show you something tricky over here. I'll write minus 4 to minus 1. 
Okay, I'll just show you if I press enter. Here it is. I, I just told you I have minus four uh, kind of. I mean minus indexing when it starts from backside. Okay, so minus four it will take that exact position, but minus one means it will take one less than that. So it will be G U R only. Good. Uh, this is the way. Mm. Fine. Mm. One more thing, if you just want to experiment it, like if you, if you can do that. Uh, minus one and uh, so on. So, oh ho, oh, minus one. And if you have written, uh, I mean, your if your colon is at the end, that means it will just take onwards that you okay. So, what if I write a str and I'll write a colon till minus one? So, it would be clear to you, like it will take everything before till minus one. Okay, till no, it's one less than that minus one. So uh, it will go till r. Okay, so it's the same that you got over here, isn't it? Uh, cool. Hope you understood what I'm trying to tell you. Um, next, I'll tell you something that you can do over here. As suppose I'm writing two, and I'll write two time colon. Okay, now two time colon means what? Suppose here I specify two. So this two is basically that uh, it's kind of increment that you have specified over here one and two that. So those things are you are specifying. It'll uh, just take till the end, okay? So but how much it should increment? From where it will start? Here I am specifying, and how much it will increment? That I am specifying over here, okay? So if you press enter, you see it starts from two zero one two. So it will start from C. And it increments by two. That means three and I mean it will take four, and it will take six, and it will take eight, and it will take ten. Is the reason okay? So that way. And let's say if I write S T R, and if I'm writing two times colon, means I'm not specifying anything. If I'm not specifying anything, that means by default it will start from zero. Okay. So if I again I just take this to start, I mean it will increment by two. That is what my concept is. If I press enter, you can see it will by default start from zero index. So you can see zero increment by two C, then N, then after U, I mean space, then U and U. That's what you got over here, is it? So um, this is the concept. Um, um, what else I can tell you in this? Uh, okay, cool. I'll tell you one more thing over here. Uh, suppose if I write two times colon and if I write minus one. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll just write minus one and two times colon, as I was supposed to explain you. So what you'll get in this scenario? Okay, so things are quite clear. I hope you understood what I'm trying to tell you. So I'm not specifying any uh, this. What do you say? Increment. So, what it will do? Um, okay, instead of this, okay, fine. I'll just show you this one. Okay, if I just press enter, you can see minus one, and it will take everything from I mean onwards. But I'm not specifying any incremented part over here. Okay. Uh, next, I'll show you something over here more. If I write str, if I write suppose two colon and uh, what if I write minus one you know this part is basically the incrementing part if I write two that means it will increment by two uh, but what if I write minus one okay so minus one means basically it will take things in reverse order okay so I'll just show you if I have in press enter you can see uh, it will start from 2, I mean that is C, and it will start taking these things in reverse order. So this is quite tricky over here. What if I write str and 2 times school and I directly write minus 1? That means, um, I hope you understood, this will directly start from the beginning of my string, okay? So what if I press enter now, it will take everything in... Uh, and reverse order so that's what the concept is um, slicing this much only you can just uh, track out uh, by placing some values in this because um, you may find something new but concepts are quite same that's what I said is 
with one colon and two column. Um, if you are unable, if I if I am quite uh, more speed, what you can do is you can just pause video and you can just um, follow this index and you can just cross check out what I'm trying to explain you. Okay. Uh, thank you for this. Uh, in this, this much only. I'll in my net later video. I'll tell you how and what are the functions for string handling can be used. Okay. Thank you so much.